everyone. I hope you have had a great week. We have had so much fun this month getting to learn about God and the love that He has for us. We're so sad that today is our last Baking Through the Bible show. We have learned so much and we hope that you have too. Why don't we say our Bible verse of the month together? Taste, Taste and, and see, see that, that the, the Lord, Lord is good. good. Learning this Bible verse this month have been super helpful for me. It reminds me to look at all the things around us that shows God's love for us, from yummy treats to family time around the fire. In this week's lesson, we learned about the fellowship of the believers. It talked about why the church does certain things like praying, singing, and taking communion. The reason we do all of these things is because early believers who started the church, they did these things. On the day of the church's birthday, there were 3,000 people who accepted Christ as their Savior. The people in the church started to listen to the disciples, learn all they could about Jesus, gather together, and pray together. This Bible story is an example of how we should be living our lives each and every day. This week, spend some time with God. Pray, worship, and give back to others. Also, remember to thank God for who He is and all He provides for us. Okay, this week's recipe is something very yummy. This recipe is a big hit in our family any time of the year. We are going to make cinnamon rolls. Yay! So what you will need for the cinnamon rolls is one can of crescent dough sheet, three tablespoons of melted butter, a fourth cup of light brown sugar, half a tablespoon of cinnamon, and then for the icing, you're gonna want a cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla. The first thing you want to do is to get a cookie sheet and line it with parchment paper. Then unroll a crescent dough sheet onto it. So we have to open this up. Pop open the crescent roll. Here we go. This is always the fun part. It scares me. Ooh. Ooh. Scary. All right, and so once that is opened and laid on the parchment paper, you will take the tablespoon of butter, or sorry, the three melted tablespoons of butter and spread it all evenly onto the side of the dough. Onto this side of the dough. Yes. Here we can scoop this over. Look at that bit. yummy butter. And so we're gonna spread it all out. And then you can get a spoon or any type of thing to make it spread evenly on the dough. And it's okay if it gets on the parchment paper because it doesn't really matter. Unless you love butter. Unless you love the butter. And then you're gonna take the brown sugar and you're gonna sprinkle it evenly all over the melted butter. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's delish. And then after that, you're gonna sprinkle the cinnamon on top of that. As soon as you can get all of the brown sugar on all there, the kind of yummy make it, make it goodness. Even. Okay. Okay, after that, it's, it's all sprinkled nice and even. You want to roll it long ways. Here we go. And you just keep turning it. Maggie, tell me that I'm doing this You're right. You're doing it beautifully, Miss Julie. You just roll it up. And you keep rolling. And then once it's completely rolled, you're gonna start, you're gonna cut it into slices. Just like And then this. I'll help you and you're gonna place them on the parchment paper. There we go. Like a little tasty treat. All right. All right, and so, they're on the parchment paper, and then you're going to want to put these into the oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. So while the cinnamon rolls are baking, we can go ahead and make the icing, which is my personal favorite part. And so all we have to do for this is combine the powdered sugar, the milk, and the vanilla, and mix it all together until it's smooth. Okay, so milk, and you can do the mix of that. Yes. I'll do it with a spoon. One teaspoon? Yes. One. Uh, a little extra. A <laughs> little extra doesn't hurt anything. Just makes it a little sweeter. So then you mix it all together. 
And then once the cinnamon rolls come out of the oven, we will drizzle this right on top and enjoy our special treat. That looks good. <laughs> it's so good. Look at that. Money. I could, <laughs> mm, mm, I love it. All right, so now we just wait for the cinnamon rolls to get out. Okay, so now that the cinnamon rolls have finished baking, we are going to, well, Miss Maggie is going to drizzle the icing on the top of these. Try not to eat it, Maggie. Like tempting. You just wanna... The more the more icing, the better, in my personal opinion. Just a nice layer of this yummy. These are gonna be so good. Icing. We have had such a fun time baking through the Bible with all of you. Seeing all of your pictures, your videos, crafts, and treats that you have posted on social media have been the best. We hope that you all enjoyed baking the treats and learning more about God this month. We can't wait to bake through the Bible with you again. You know, Maggie, this has been so much fun. I think we should maybe do a special edition. Ooh. Uh, maybe a special Thanksgiving and Christmas edition. What do you think? Miss Julie, I think that sounds like a great idea. Okay, keep an eye out for Baking Through the Bible, Thanksgiving edition. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.